Hello! Here today I have the one of the new Made to Move Barbie You Can Be Anything career dolls and I am really glad they released some more of these. She is supposed to be tall and I am really glad about that. So here I want to show you her and her box. I am working on getting her. She's supposed to be uh, lighter than the purple top, so that'll be cool. And now I'm going to get her out of the box. Be back in a couple. Alright, so here I have her, and she has a volleyball and her shorts and long sleeve shirt and some knee, um, I guess they're knee pads, and then her silver shoes, her sneakers, and just for a size comparison, she's standing flat foot, and she is tall. This would be the made to move soccer player, uh, brunette, and she's in regular body size. And here would be a petite in heels. She's in heels, and so that's for size comparisons. Um, I did check all her joints. Uh, she has ankle, two at the knee, an upper thigh, hip, up, uh, torso, two at the elbow, wrist, upper arm, shoulder, neck, and like the same on both sides. Um, and so that's 22 points of articulation. That's what makes them made to move. Um, it, all the joints are working really good. And uh, um, she's got, you know, the great articulation. I really like um, the the. The made to move articulation and I'm so glad that they've done this skin tone. She's supposed to be the same um, as the original pink top um, from what I understand. I haven't compared but I have my mini me handy and she's on an original pink top so we can compare and gonna have to do leg and they're pretty close I would say she's maybe a little lighter so maybe she's a tall purple top um I was figuring she was original pink top so um yeah I do have a purple top handy let me see if I can find her um I'm gonna have to. Alright, so here's Purple Top, and here is the new one. Um, they, they are close, but they are still, um, like she's a shade darker, um, so she's not quite Purple Top. Um, I, I've been hoping for original pink top again um, in tall and petite and then um, some more options for talls because right now we just have um, the BMR and the number six looks works for some but not all um, she's very close though and I do have her handy so we can take a look at her She was uh, on display, so um, she's wearing, I love plaid, so that's why she's in that. So here we go, um, as you can see she is darker 
and she is lighter, um, but she is also a tall, and so I've kind of thought she was, like, purple top, but, yeah, so I'm pretty sure she is, like, original release of pink top, so she would be tall in that, and finally, um, I have some girls that I can make who are of this skin tone that I can actually put um, on a tall. I, I do like tall um, over curvy just because that the talls can still mostly fit, they can fit more in the Barbie closet than curvies. Curvies do have a little bit more of a limited um, range of what they can wear. Petites are great too, um, just because they can wear a lot more of the the Rainbow High and Shadow High clothes, which I really like their clothes um, for a lot of things. But yeah, so she is definitely, I would say, close to the pink top skin tone. And I can't wait to get some of my girls rebodied with her when I get some more of her. Um, yeah, and and as face goes, like she's got a slight bit of pixelation. Um, it's not too bad though. I, I mean, it's pretty standard. But I I do know that we can get non-pixelated screenings. Uh, it's just a matter of perfecting the technology every time and that's kind of hard to do in mass production um, but she is pretty good and her hair is actually pretty soft there is like box hair going on back here um, but otherwise it's pretty soft and like you definitely can like reuse these shorts they don't just have to be with the outfit you know um, but yeah and then you'll have some sneaker options for talls and curvies because they have the same feet. Like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Bye.